Hey folks, Brian Stavely here, author of the Unhewn of Thrones series. Um, I've got a whole bunch of questions that you've all sent in. Thanks for sending them. And I'm just gonna rip through them one by one. Is Kiel going to play a part in the upcoming book? Kiel, you'll recall if you've read the first trilogy, is the historian. And the answer is yes. He is a very important secondary character. He doesn't have his own POV, but you, you will see a lot of him. Did you have any inspirations for the Unhewn Throne series? Uh, like a million. Um, you know, I think any writer is always drawing on, uh, you know, a lifetime of reading books and watching shows and watching movies and hearing stories and knowing people. Um, it's pretty hard to disentangle how it all fits together, but um, I would say one of the major inspirations is actually real world history. Um, I used to teach history, high school history, um, uh, medieval Europe and world history, ancient world. And um, so there's tons, I mean, the stuff from real history is as interesting or more than anything in any fantasy novel. And so whenever I'm looking for some kind of inspiration, I often dig into that grab bag of, you know, what was going on uh, in the Mongol Empire at this time? Or what were the Aztecs up to? Um, so it's sort of a never ending treasure trove of good inspiration. Do I listen to music while I write? Sometimes. I almost never listen to music with words, but I listen to a lot of Baroque music. I listen to a lot of Bach um, and Telemann and Vivaldi. And depending on what I'm writing, uh, that can either work or not. Sometimes it's too distracting uh, and my mind kind of starts chasing the, the musical melodies rather than paying attention to what I'm doing. But sometimes it's just the thing. And I haven't figured out what times are the right times to put it on. So I'll put on music and then I'll turn off music. Uh, it's all part of just, you know, the endless fidgeting that is the preamble to actually doing any damn work. Um, all right, continuing on. What would you say to authors looking to follow in your footsteps? I mean, d don't follow in my footsteps. I don't know. I think everybody, I know a bunch of different writers and they've all ended up where they are by pretty different paths. Um, some people I know write full time. I'm writing full time, lucky enough to do that. Some people are writing, they have a day job and they're writing at night and they're crushing it. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, you can indie publish, you can traditionally publish. I think the only thing I'd say for sure is that you have to write. You can't think about writing or want to write or have ideas for books. None of that gets the job done. So I don't think it's a matter of specific footsteps, but you, but write, if you have a book in you, write the book. Uh, however you want to do it in whatever way works best for you. This one is interesting. How has your writing style changed? I am less, way less interested in writing descriptions of things, which is unfortunate because you need descriptions of things in a fantasy novel. You need all the world building. It's all important. Uh, if people show up in a new city, you need to know what the city looks like. If a new character comes in, you need to know what the character looks like. Um, but somehow that fascinates me less than it did when I first started writing. It's not to say I don't do it. It's not to say I don't spend a lot of time on it. But um, the things that draw me in now are more and more the dialogue between characters and the internal character development of what's going on with, uh, you know, Gwenna or Keel or Ruck, any of these characters, what's going on inside their mind and inside their body. That's always been important, obviously. That's the, the centerpiece of any story. But my first books, I would get really excited to write, um, you know, a description of you know, somebody's armor. Uh, I'm less excited to describe armor, although it's still, it's still necessary, so it's still in there and I hope I'm still doing a decent job with it. What are your favorite books that you're reading now? I'm reading an interesting new book about the Donner Party. I forget the name of the author. Um, that's been kind of a, a macabre fascination of mine for a long time and this is, this is a good read. Um, I just started Andy Weir's new book about, what's it called, Hail Mary. Um, about the first contact with an alien species and it reminds me very much of The Martian, which I enjoyed. Um, what else am I reading? I got Fun Home, which is a comic by um, Alison Bechdel, which I hadn't read and I'm partway through it and enjoying it a lot. 
Seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, I finished about a month ago and was sucked right into that. Um, a whole, you know, so what, like actual history, um, some science fiction, some fantasy, that's usually what I have going on. Um, oh, I have Exhalation, Exhalation um, which is a good book of short stories, and I'm rereading George Saunders, um, what's it called? Whatever his book of short stories is, the 10th of December, November, something like that. What is your writing routine like? It's haphazard as hell during the pandemic. During normal life, I have kind of a routine. I have a nine-year-old son, he goes to school in the school year, he goes to camp in the summer, and I write during those hours. During pandemic, everything is up for grabs. There was no school, there was no camp. There, when there was school, it was canceled because of snow. We actually even had a mud day this year. I live in rural Vermont. And um, it's so rural that sometimes the roads are so muddy you can't drive on them. So I had a great day of writing planned out and um, the roads were impassable to, due to mud. So I've just been writing whenever I can, late at night, early in the morning, mid afternoon, weekends. There's been no real routine, which is not, it, it is suboptimal, but it is what it is. So uh, I managed to get The Empire's Ruin done and I'm, two thirds of the way through its sequel. So hanging in there, but I am looking forward to having a routine once more. Where do you think you will take the stories next? Well, uh, The Empire's Ruin comes out this summer. Um, it is the beginning of a new trilogy set in the same world as um, the Unhewn Throne trilogy. There are some characters that you'll recognize. Gwenna plays a, Gwenna Sharp, the, the Ketral demolitions expert. She plays a major role um, in the new book. And there are some new characters. So, uh, you know, following on from what happens after the events of the first trilogy, 